What's up, Nootropics lovers? My name is Monsol. I'm with Nootropedia, and today I'm coming at you from Sham Reap, Cambodia, and we're going to talk about testosterone boosters. I'm sitting Testosterone is a hormone that's important for both men and women. Now, unfortunately, in today's industrial world, we've got a ton of different things that are preventing us from having the adequate amounts of testosterone. So I want to be clear, when I talk about boosting testosterone, what I really mean is to optimize our level of testosterone. For some people, women especially, it's not that we need to increase our testosterone and become more muscular or strong, it's just that we need to get the optimal levels for our cognitive and physical performance. In fact, 24% of men are deficient in testosterone. And there's a number of reasons that that's the case. One of which is BPA, chemicals that are in plastic that essentially leach into water and other beverages and they can cause a reduction in testosterone. Another really common problem is too much soy, sugar, high carbohydrate diets, which can also increase estrogen and reduce testosterone levels in both men and women. And finally, we've got toxins and pollutants in the air and especially here in Southeast Asia, I'm realizing how much of an impact that has on our health and specifically how that impacts our testosterone levels. So before we go too much further, I want to let you know that A, I want to increase your testosterone if that is important to you. I want to optimize your levels, but not just for the purposes of increasing testosterone. I want to optimize them with certain nootropics and certain lifestyle practices so you can offset some of the problems with our modern lifestyle. Now finally, before we get into some of these nootropics and the cognitive aspects, I want to keep in mind that if you wanted to just use steroids to increase testosterone, that is possible but not a long-term solution. So I'm just completely disregarding the steroid options and I'm focusing on some smaller incremental increases in testosterone in sustainable ways over the long term. First, I want to talk about cognition. Now cognition is said to improve anecdotally with testosterone, but the truth is a study of 800 men over four years found that testosterone has no measurable effects on cognition. Now what some people believe, I included, is that the testosterone can actually improve confidence, which can have secondary effects, such as you know increased abilities, whether it comes from sales calls, whether it comes from some type of personal, interpersonal interaction, communication, so this increased confidence can improve mental performance in the workplace, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have improved cognitive abilities when it comes to your intellectual capacity. Now before we get into the nootropics, I want to give you a few different lifestyle habits that will help to improve your testosterone. Most of these I'm sure you've already heard of, but I'm going to run through them really quickly just so you have an idea. Number one is vitamin D. If you're not getting enough vitamin D, which is a hormone, from the sun, then it can impair your testosterone levels. So vitamin D is necessary in order to synthesize testosterone. For people who are above the 37th parallel or just people who are in dark environments, maybe they don't go outside enough, vitamin D, maybe even supplementation can be an effective way to plug up that gap. Number two is sleep. If you do not get a good enough sleep, it will increase your cortisol level. Cortisol has an inverse relationship with testosterone. So the further up your cortisol is, the further down your testosterone will be. So it's really effective to improve your sleep quality, quantity, just make sure you're getting restful sleep. Now for your diet, every five pounds of body fat that you carry reduces your testosterone by a considerable amount. So it's important to make sure not only you're eating the right things, but you're getting your weight under control because excess body fat negatively correlates with testosterone. So guys, drinking too much alcohol can actually increase your estrogen and cause you problems with testosterone as well. So it's something to keep in mind. That doesn't mean you can't drink alcohol anymore, but try to limit yourself, especially if you find you have a low level of testosterone. Now finally, if you're going to do some exercise, try and do some heavy lifting, you know, deadlifts, squats, push up, bench press, you know what I'm talking about. Heavy lifting or do some high intensity interval training or HIT, and you will 
see some testosterone boosting effects as well. So before we go into the nootropics, here's one line that I want you to keep in mind anytime you see a testosterone boosting product. Any type of unique blend or formula that's called a testosterone booster is almost universally not that great and it probably doesn't work or worse, it's unsafe. And best case scenario, you're gonna be spending more money than you need to on a product that's not gonna really have that great of results. The truth is, if you want to get really big boosts in testosterone, there are simple shortcuts to do so and maybe even talking with your doctor to get on some testosterone replacement therapy or TRT could be a useful option. Don't go to the black market and don't trust any of these supplements either. Now the first option as a testosterone booster is ashwagandha. And I know that many people think of this as an anti-anxiety or a stress reduction adaptogen, but it is also useful for some people for increasing testosterone. Some studies, specifically in infertile men, show that it can increase testosterone between 10 to 22%. Now I'm not suggesting this is gonna happen with everybody, and like all of these nootropics, they're studied on people who are sick, you know, essentially people who are infertile in this case. So it might not apply to you, but it's something to consider ashwagandha. Now number two is creatine monohydrate. This is an easy win, something that I, I'm a proponent of taking regularly for cognitive benefits, but some studies show it can increase testosterone by up to 15%. Shilajit is another nootropic. It's an Ayurvedic herb found and used in India, and there's some evidence to suggest it can increase testosterone by up to 23.5%. Again, most of these are done in people who are lacking testosterone or infertile, so it doesn't necessarily apply to you if you are healthy. It's just something to keep in mind. Now, taking royal jelly at three grams per day over six months showed significant boosts in testosterone. Now, this was a study in humans. It might be relevant for you. Royal jelly can get expensive, especially if you're using three grams every single day, but the studies showed significant benefits. So again, it might be an option. Now, finally, we have D-aspartic acid. And it seems that the evidence on this specific nootropic is kind of hit or miss. In the short term, there's some significant benefits, up to 60 to 100% increase in testosterone, but over the long term, the benefits aren't really known or they're actually not that great. So D-aspartic acid is not something I recommend, but something that I wanna run across your radar and just give you a, a little tidbit so that you can maybe do a little bit more of your own research. So that's it guys, I hope that's been useful. I hope you understand increasing your testosterone just to increase your testosterone is not the goal here, but it is important to realize that our modern industrial environment can really negatively impact our testosterone. Up to 24% of males are deficient. And so these are some of the nootropics that you can use that have both cognitive effects, but also hopefully testosterone boosting effects for you as well. Hope you found it useful. I'll see you next time.